This is Villa Kenworthy, and today we're going to tour my new pantry. <laughs> I'm Dennis, and this is Villa Kenworthy. I'm going to take you on a tour of the new pantry I built. I'm still fairly new to the YouTube thing and I thought I'd try something outside of the kitchen to give everyone a sense of who I am and what I do. Here at Villa Kenworthy we like to make a lot of our own things and I thought I'd just take you on a tour and show you around, show you what kind of things that I do, what I've done in the past and give you an idea of what we could look forward to in the future. So I'll do a little handheld work with the camera today, that'll be my first time doing that and we'll see how it goes. This is what the room looked like before I began construction. I did have to pull some shelving off the walls and clean up the floor and get it down to bare bones to start adding the new electrical. I wanted room for a new stand-up freezer and then another fridge freezer side by side. And after five days of hard work, here's my finished product. As you can see, it's nice and bright. I've got three LED lights in the top and a nice new shelving, new floors, new walls, and I ran new electrical for everything, so it's all on its own circuit. It did accommodate the stand-up freezer and the fridge-freezer combo nicely. It should have plenty of room to store everything that I need. So this is the finished product after we got some stuff stored in here. I have a whole bunch of fresh produce and then some canned stuff to our right. To our left, I have a freezer and then a fridge-freezer combo. We'll go through those and I'll show you some of the items that I've collected and made. Here to our right, we have some of the items that we picked from the garden. Uh, we have on the bottom a bunch of pumpkins, some butternut squash, and some spaghetti squash. I should be able to keep these fresh in here for the next couple of months and then we'll be able to use them. I'll probably try to get some videos out using those. As we follow this down, we'll get into some of the stuff that we've canned. Here we have some dill pickles, some salsa that my wife made. And then we have quite a bit of spaghetti sauce, so the different pasta sauce. Some of this will be that eggplant sauce that we made that I canned as well. Up here, a few more pickles. Uh, we also have some uh, brined and pickled tomatoes with fresh basil leaf in it. It's My wife's Russian, so she really likes to do things like that that uh, she brings over that her grandmother used to make. And some more pickles with a heavy garlic and dill presence. Down here, we have our beets. So this right here is one of my favorite items. This is a shredded beets. It's slow cooked with onion and it gets just the most amazing taste to it. I'm addicted to it. I can eat a jar of this at a time. So over here we have something that's kind of similar to a, almost a dip. It's a roasted eggplant dip that my wife and her mom made while she was visiting us from Russia. And more beets. Uh, canned tomatoes. It's a yellow patio tomato we like to make. If you look down here, I have a whole bunch of egg cartons. That's because I raise chickens and we sell the eggs so that they can pay for their food. And that's working out quite well. We'll be butchering some more chickens coming up soon. So this right here is pretty cool. This is made by my wife's grandmother. She makes me homemade pot holders. You'll see me using these in a lot of my videos. Uh, it's the only pot holders I use. Thank you, Grandma. I appreciate it. Now let's take a look in the fridge. Right now, all we have in here is some beets that we're storing uh, temperature controlled so that we can replant for seed next year. I come over here, these right here are some snack sticks that I made, venison snack sticks. Uh, whenever I make more of those, we'll do a video over that. I love using my smoker. So we go down, I do make my own brats. These right here are great. More brats there, and more snack sticks. We do make and use our own uh, chicken stock, so this right here is all chicken stock ready to make up soup. This is all double wrapped uh, pieces of venison from uh, deers that I butchered over the last couple years. And here, so more snack sticks, more brats, some venison roast that we have ready to go. We pull this out. So this bag is full of tomatoes. I like to take the cherry tomatoes and then I freeze them whole and I can make a fresh sauce with those right from the frozen state and the skins help protect them from freezer burn. So it's really easy. Just pick them, clean them and freeze them. So now we're in the large stand up freezer. We have a bunch of shredded carrots from the garden that we grew ourselves. These right here are homemade palmenis. That's a Russian dumpling. Uh, my wife and her mom were so kind to make me a whole bunch of those. I can eat these things almost a bag at a time. Makes me a fat guy. 
We'll be down here. And each one of these trays is eggplant parmesan. So we had a really good eggplant harvest this year, so we made a whole bunch of eggplant parmesan to have ready to go for dinners. If you look back behind that, there's some more eggplant that has been prepared and ready to go as well. And down here, this right here is a bag of the uh, frozen pesto from that recipe that we made. I always keep this on hand as well. Got another bag of goodies here. This right here is a smoked turkey breast. So I did about eight of these and then I pre-sliced them, packaged them, ready to go. They're great for sandwiches. And I just like to have a whole bunch of that stuff ready to go. Inside this bag we have a little bit of pork fat that I preserve to use for different recipes. I can render that down or I can use it to grease my uh, cast iron skillets to make them non-stick. These are a bunch of cubes of ch uh, chicken stock. We boil that down and then we cube it and I can easily just throw that into a recipe as well. I can use that to uh, season just about anything or to make soup. And then down below I have whole pork butts. These are things that I just make sure I buy on sale. It's great to have a freezer so that you can store extra of those. I uh, pick them up on sale and cheap throughout the year and then I have them whenever I need. So I'll be using these to make some more brats and some more venison bacon. Speaking of venison bacon, if you look up in the door, I've got packs of pre-sliced and pre-packaged venison bacon. There's quite a bit of it. Right here, this is a really cool idea. Maybe I'll show you how to do it next time I do. Uh, these are meatballs. So what we do is I make a whole bunch of mix and then we uh, par cook them and then I vacuum seal them and then they're ready to go. And then sometimes I actually just uh, take them and ball them, freeze them, vacuum seal them frozen, and then I cook them in the sous vide so that they don't dry out and they stay nice and moist. Uh, some frozen kale. These are some blackberries that we picked from around our property. And then we have some mulberries as well that we picked. This is half a chicken. Uh, it's one of our older birds that we use to make soup. We've got quite a few of these. So most of this door is full of uh, different chickens, stuff like that, that we've butchered. I keep a couple of them whole, to ready to cook. And so our older birds we'll take and we'll uh, butcher them and we'll package them in bigger pieces like that and we'll use that to make our soups and to cook down for our stock. Our younger birds we part out and then cook like regular chicken. I just wanted to take a moment to mention the drawing we're going to be doing here at Villa Kenworthy. The winner will receive a bottle of this cherry balsamic sauce as well as a sample of my homemade steak seasoning, both featured in previous videos. The rules are you must be a subscriber and I need you to send your name to villakenworthy at gmail.com. I'm currently at 51 subscribers. Once I get to 100, I will take all of the names and do a drawing. And then I will reach out to the person that won and we'll get this mailed off to you. So please share, like, and subscribe. And that's my pantry. I thought it would be fun to show everyone what I was working on on my vacation. I am really proud of it. I was able to do it in five days and it's given us a place to store stuff and get ready for winter. And we do live off this food throughout the year. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, share it. Let me know if you have any ideas, something you want to see for the future. All right, take care.